Starting off this family vacation with a travel day, we took the ferry to Tobago rather than a plane, not only because it was less expensive, but we also thought that we were going with my dad's vehicle, but that didn't end up working out. Because we waited so last minute to book a car rental in Tobago, all the companies were fully booked. But last minute, this business came through for us. They made this whole process so convenient. They met us at the port, we signed our contracts, and then we're off to find our Airbnb. Okay, it's clean. Okay, so we could do the tour. If you are a returning subscriber, it may seem like this is a really impulsive thing. Like, girl, you didn't mention anything, you didn't do a video preparing to come to Tobago. Like, what's going on? But this time, it was so impulsive. Anyways, we are in Tobago, and I want to give you a little tour of the place that we're staying at. I'm so excited to be here. I've been meaning to come back to this spot for like years now. I'll explain that whole story later on. But come on, let's head inside. It is really hot outside. You know how they say Tobago sun is different? like that is it like to be go son it's different so come on in so before we start with the tour i just want to give you a quick recap of what the hell is going on so basically i have decided to start a family vacay trip and this is going to be done annually it may not only be to tobago it could be to other islands that'll be so much of fun or even other countries you know let's not limit ourselves here but we're starting off strong we are in tobago i'm here with my dad and my little brother kenan i would say we're here for like different reasons kenan and my dad they're more so here for relaxation and i'm more here for adventure and beach hopping so as soon as i came to the villa i was like hey let's just put on our stuff and head out to the beach they were like girl let's take it on a nudge like we are tired we have actually been traveling since like 6 a.m this morning so i could understand that they're tired but like we had a three hour boat ride you could have been sleeping during that time right so do slow me down and yeah anyways let's get on to this tour so starting off we are in the living area i know it is a bit dark but i could definitely introduce some sunlight by opening up the curtains but we are kind of headed out right now so my main priority is not opening the curtains. We have this little area, two couches, and this couch actually transforms into a bed. It's a sofa bed. We have a TV, we have Wi-Fi, you know, essentials. And then over here we have this little dining, eating area that we're going to be having our breakfast at. Actually, no, we are going to be having our breakfast outside. But I'm not going to show you that. Let's not show them that as yet. It's so cute in here. And like this size, yes, it may be small, but it's just perfect for my family. So we can sit down here, you know, have a little chat. So coming down this corridor, we have this door for storage. And then to the right, we have the bathroom. Let me just knock to make sure nobody is in there. Okay. So let me put on the light. So we have a little bathroom. We have the shower. I did make myself at home. I just love this. This so much. It's actually a sofa dish. This is so cool. I find it's a little creepy, but I find it's cool. What I love about this bathroom is that this door leads directly into the pool area. So as soon as we come from the pool, we can just hop in the shower. I love how convenient that is. Now we have two more rooms to show. Coming on into this way, we have all the kitchenettes. We tonight we're gonna be making dinner as a family. It's gonna be so cute and wholesome. I love that they provided kitchenware for us and even appliances like they go so far to provide appliances we have toaster coffee maker blender like things that we're not even going to use and i'll stay here we have two fridges which is really cool we have a little mini fridge here and then outside 
in the front there we have a big size fridge which is way more than enough for us and then the last room is the bedroom is i would say is my favorite area of the actually no it's not no it's not i was gonna say it's my favorite part of the villa but it's not i'm gonna show you my favorite part soon but i know it is a bit messy you know we traveling we have a lot of stuff <laughs> bear with me so we have two beds in this room this villa could host up to five guests but you know there's only three of us here so my dad he decided that he's gonna sleep on the twin size bed and then Kenan and i we're gonna sleep on the queen size so sorry for the mess we are unpacking and i actually started to hang up some clothes and on this wall we have a full-length mirror which i do appreciate so much because you know me like we need to make sure if it's looking good and we are back at the front door so now i'm going to show you my favorite part of this villa my main reason i for booking this villa is the nature and the pool that surrounds it okay let's show down the first part which is the pool the pool is actually in the shape of a teardrop you realize that i'm just so happy so blessed to be here you're gonna be hearing me saying that so much of times in this video but i'm just so blessed so thankful to be here especially with my brother and my father now we are getting ready to leave home we're going to the beach and then we also have to make some groceries so we're heading off to that now just like look at this yard it is just so beautiful so luscious if my dream house is not looking like this, something wrong. Something is wrong. Come on, let's go. So we went grocery shopping and now we're here at Store Bay. We also booked our tour for the Nylon Pool tomorrow, which we're so excited for. And I saw this beautiful dress that I want to get so I'm gonna be wearing that at the Nile Pool okay honestly it feels so blessed to be here I remember last year it was over a year ago I've been here and I was telling myself while I was there last year that I cannot wait to come back yeah I remember when that used to be like 70 75 dollars you all know the price to go on the Boho Reef and stuff is 150 now I remember when that used to be just 70 dollars like 70 75 70 might be pushing it but i know 75 dollars for sure obviously that that was years ago and times change right now i'm gonna be eating this one. this is literally the first time i'm eating up and on the beach it seems quite wrong if you ask me yeah but the vibes are so good like so much of people are here the sun is shining it's a blessed to be here I going on the water with you? I don't know, I do want to. It's just a real cool. Once to relax, I headed back on shore to lay down and lucky for me, there were a group of guys who were playing American football. Honestly, it was so entertaining to watch. That's a move. I could not stop laughing, not only because of the exciting show that they were putting on, but also just being at the beach. I don't know if you realize, but when you're at the beach, like no one is sad, no one is expressing any negative emotion, unless if again like a serious sunburn. <laughs> 
We are back home and now we're going to the cooking dinner. We're all starving, right? So I'm not gonna be talking much. We're really hungry. Let's get into this. breakfast of the morning we're having something right so we're just having some cereal and then once our dad wakes up we're gonna have like the real breakfast which is like sausages tuna bread tea and all of that but right now we're just enjoying some cinnamon toast yeah Bokeri, Dinao and Pool and also No Man's Land which I'm so excited for. I did this exact tour last year so it's good to be back with my family this time. My little brother he never went before. Yeah we could go. Can I have everything ready? My little brother he has never been before. I don't know if my dad ever went. I don't know I'll ask him shortly but most likely not. I'm just so excited to just be here with them and experience and this new experience with them. If that makes sense, I hope it does. I really wanted to go beach shopping this morning before our tour because our tour is at 11 and I wanted to go and view some beaches. But God just had other plans. We just relaxed. And I guess that's what my brother and my father wanted at the end of the day. Right now, I'm just hoping that we have a lot more day remaining after the tour so we can do some more stuff. And then we have to figure out... <laughs> Sorry, I just got distracted by my brother. And then we have to figure figure out dinner tonight so that should be fun because last night's dinner was not it i don't even want to talk about it it was so disgusting hard to say that food was disgusting you know because at least you had food but i have to be honest i did not do a good job and it really wasn't my fault it's just what i had at the moment in the kitchen ingredient wise let's get ready to go we're running late let's go one last thing i wanted to show you this dress that i got i got it from my last trip to stop and I didn't show it in the haul because I didn't know what the dress was. But this is it, it's so cute. And then I'm wearing my, my bathing suit under. Anyways, let me go before my brother gets back. Honestly, I think it's drizzling right now. So, Caribbean parents, they're rushing us to get ready. And you know, we're ready, we're in the vehicle. And of course, where are they? Not in the vehicle, where are they? They're still in the house. Caribbean parents, where are who could relate i know everybody who could relate i know that for sure we had some time to kill before our boat tour started so i wanted to do some jewelry shopping i was mainly looking for pieces made out of seashells so like necklaces handbands even anklets but right now when you wear it this shell they're too far on your hand it's too long you mean yeah, yeah. too far from one another okay. too right so mm -hmm. you think about it this nice and that's the only one if you notice so how yeah. much for this one well, this one was 60, but take it for 40. You, you want to try this one still? Yeah, I'm going to you know, that's why I didn't do that. Here are some other pieces that I was really interested in. I really wanted to get it, especially this bag. However, it was out of my budget. Ah, but that's okay we didn't have a lot of shopping huts to stop by because as you can see most of them were closed but that was due to the time and day that we were there so i know this is a cliche but when i'm in tobago one of my favorite activities to do is to go on a boat tour on the duration of this tour you will stop at three popular locations which includes the boko reef the nylon pool and last but not least no man's land Second opportunity we move to Nylon Pool for that shallow water swim experience. Additional step, no man's land. One side a bit warm, next side a bit cold. Life jackets, they're all stored downstairs above the heads. Emergency exits for upstairs over the railing. <laughs> downstairs, emergency exits through the windows and also to the back of the boat. It should take us like roughly 25 minutes to get out to the first step. I'll be straight to the web, no Whole lot of 
So sad, so done. In about 25 minutes, we made it to the Poco Reef where we saw its beauty and the beautiful sea life that it provides a home for. So starting off, we saw what they locally call potato corals. At first, I was not seeing that image. What about you? Can you see it? And we also saw a plant locally called dead man fingers and they move to the motions of the sea currents. Apparently, they are named that because they do sting really bad. Other sea life that could be found in the reefs are turtles, lobsters, puppy and new sharks which i found really interesting but have been so cool to see one also stingrays i remember last year i did see one another thing we saw a lot of was white coral sand and i wanted to mention this in particular because i thought it was regular sand but no this sand is formed from all corals when they decompose <laughs> is that we spent only about 20 minutes on no man's land which i didn't like i wish we spent a longer period of time on no man's land but better luck next time i also got food the food was quite basic but really expensive stops that we made was to the swallows and i am in love with this beach like this beach is honestly my favorite but the main reason i came here was to come to solar organics which is a smoothie bar Yeah, in my 
highway move. So we're gonna do a challenge. You should stay under the water beyond this. Ready? I saw you on top of the water and then it went back down. Yes, you did. I will see it on the video. Oh. Let me know how it's videotaped and I will see it. No. Oh my gosh. Y'all, not doing good. My eyes are continuously burning like I can't even open my eyes. And my skin is just so good. Check how much hours. I mean, you want to take up pictures, you want to do in your video. But you have been spending like over today five hours in the water. I probably look like a wet dog, probably look like I was crying for like 10 hours. My nose is just dripping continuously and also my eyes are really breathing. I'm not doing well. I mean, yeah, I do have naturally blurry eyes, but not to this extent. And thank God I don't because this is really bad. And I feel so miserable right now. Like I literally want to cry.